This is an introduction video on masking in Adobe Illustrator. So there will be two masking techniques that I will show you in this video, clipping mask and opacity mask. Now masking basically means to cut. So it's different from cropping because cropping is permanent. While masking, you can actually go back at any time you want to adjust the cropping again. For example, I have a portrait image here and I want to cut it out in a circle. So I would like to use clipping mask to do that. So first, let's create a circle shape. And make sure you place the shape on top because this will be our mask. All right, I want to mask out the image using this circle shape. Now select both the layer and press Ctrl or Command 7 to apply the clipping mask effect. If you want to change the position or the size of the image, you can just double click on the image and you can move it again and you can change the position or the size again. Or if you want to change the size or the position of the mask, all you have to do is go to the layer panel, expand the layer and you will find the clip group with the clipping mask. Now left click on this round icon here to force select the mask and now you can adjust the position or the scale of the mask. There we have it. Something to take note, in Illustrator, you cannot use a raster image or any photo to be used as your mask. So you can only use vector shapes and also path to be your mask. Now let's look at another example. I have a star shape and a circle shape. So this star shape will be my mask, so I put it in front. And I'll select both the shape and press Ctrl or Command 7 to apply clip mask. And as you can see here, the circle shape is now masked out by the star shape. So if you want to add in another shape into the mask layer or into the clip group, all you have to do is just hold down left click and drag the new shape into the clip group. Make sure that you put it underneath the clipping layer like this. So you can adjust it again by left clicking on this circle to force select on that particular shape. And if you ever want to apply color on your clipping mask, you can do that as well. All you have to do is just left click again on this round icon to force select the clipping mask layer and you can change the color. Now let's move on to opacity mask or luma mask. Luma stands for luminance, which also represents the black and white value. So in opacity mask, we mask out our object or our shape using black and white value. So all you have to remember is black means it's zero opacity. That means it's transparent. And white means 100% opacity, which is fully visible. So to apply this opacity mask, you have to make sure that it's on top again, just like clipping mask. Make sure that your mask is on top of the shape or the image that you want to mask out. Select both the shape. Go to window menu bring out the transparency panel and left click on make mask and as you can see here the opacity mask has been applied to this shape as you can see at the bottom here it's 100 percent black which means it's fully transparent all right zero percent opacity gradually it will increase back to 100 percent opacity and if you want to adjust the opacity mask you can left click on the thumbnail here on the right side to move your opacity mask around. And take note, sometimes you would accidentally click on this thumbnail and you will notice that all your layers are gone and you cannot select any of the objects on the artboard. So make sure that you left click back again to the thumbnail here. Let me show you another example on how to create an opacity mask. So instead of using gradient, you can do something like this as well. I have a white color and then a gray, a darker gray and 100% black. So I have four layers, four shapes. I can select everything. Control G or Command G to group everything together. So now I have an opacity mask. Place it on top of my shape. Let's resize it to fit the circle. Something like this. Let's try it again. And press mask. So as you can see here, black is transparent fully because it's 100% black. So that means it's 0% opacity all the way to 100% white, which has 100% opacity.